I'm Elaine Watson with AgFunder News at the Future Food Tech Conference in San Francisco. And I'm joined today by Dan White from Clean Crop Technologies. So every year around 30% of food is lost to toxins, pathogens and pests in between the farm gate and the end consumer. Uh, Clean Crop solves this problem by using electricity to generate ionized gases to preferentially break down those microbes that drive most of this waste without harming food quality in the process. So we have a proprietary hardware stack that we can easily drop into a processing line, whether it's a seeding line for a greenhouse or a seed packing facility, a nut processing line, and basically the, the product runs through our system where it's exposed to these ionized gases that are breaking down these contaminants before it moves on for further processing. So we can match most line speeds that any customer needs and uh, just charge them for every pound or ton of product that runs through the system. Yeah, so it's a, it's a form of cold plasma, um, which is uh, basically just ionized gases. It's really highly energetic gas that's looking for things to break down, which is what gives us the ability to tune those gases so that we're preferentially breaking down stuff that is traditionally very hard to do. Things like salmonella, listeria, E. coli, a wide range of mycotoxins that are very um, robust structures, uh, but we can do that without harming the lipids or the micronutrients or these other things that our customers care about uh, preserving the process. So historically, both within food safety and pasteurization as well as seed health, um, companies have had to choose between either decontamination solutions that can remove pathogens from those products, whether it's foods or seeds, um, and the viability of those. So within seeds, you can choose clean seed um, that, or, that has low germination because you've had to hurt the germination in the process, um, or high germination with dealing with the contaminants. On foods, it's the same trade-off. So um, you can pasteurize strawberries, but obviously strawberry jam, after it's been, been pasteurized, is not the same quality. It doesn't have the same profile. Well, we target our applications where we can break that trade-off. So we can achieve the same or similar decontamination as thermal pasteurization without harming quality. Uh, so we've been around now for three years, and in that time we've gone from basically academic papers to having several successful field pilots. We now have active customers who are sending product to our facilities, um, and we have active pilots running right now with 39% of the global vegetable seed market and 46% of the nut market today. So we're a venture-backed startup um, with a range of ag tech and clean tech investors. Uh, we've raised $12 million to date. We're going to be going back to market in early 2024. Um, early days, uh, it was somewhat early days. It was somewhat harder for us to be able to figure out uh, to convince customers that some of these problems that today have been so unsolvable, they're just baked into their business model, that we could actually help them unlock the value that today they've just been writing off. Now that we've proven out our ability to do this, the biggest challenge this year is really scaling up our hardware, getting to a repeatable manufacturing place.